So one of the things I was talking about the other day is that the Democrats are far left, right? It was, it was Michael Bloomberg. It was like two days ago. He's embracing this white privilege nonsense. So is Joe Biden. There is no sane, moderate Democrat. None. Joe Biden is the corporate crony. So he's trying to maintain some semblance of like moderate kitchen table issues. But ideologically, he is absolutely engaging in stupid far left ideological nonsense, proving that if Biden is supposed to be the moderate centrist Democrat, and even he plays the stupid intersectionality game, then there is no moderate, okay? I don't know what to tell you, everybody, but check out this story from the DC Examiner. Joe Biden, I don't count drunk driving as a felony. What? I, it's, it's, not, it's not up to you what you count as a felony. It's what is in the actual statutes of what a felony is. But Joe Biden, trying to distance himself from the legacy of the deporter in chief, Barack Obama, is trying to have it both ways to be a moderate while also having to do, you know, go above and beyond to make it seem like he's absolutely on the side of illegal immigrants. Don't ask me why illegal immigrants can't vote. If for some reason, Democrats are absolutely interested in courting their vote or whatever, like they literally campaigned in Mexico. Again, don't ask me. I don't know what they're trying to do. People in Mexico who live in Mexico ain't going to be voting for American presidents. I, I hope. Anyway, I say this. 2020 Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden said his administration would fire immigration and customs enforcement agents who arrest and deport illegal immigrants who are not guilty of felony crimes, adding that he, quote, doesn't count drunk driving as a felony. Joe Biden is literally I can't I can't believe the story. The story seems fake. How who in their right mind would be like DUI drivers, illegal immigrants? Nah, they're cool. They can stay. What? Drunk driving is a serious crime, man. You should like, I don't care if you're American or not. We arrest people for that. Joe Biden's not going to deport people under the country illegally and then go around driving drunk. Then who is he going to be deporting? That's like as, almost as bad as it gets. The former vice president made the comments at a vice news forum on minority issues in Des Moines, Iowa on Monday evening. When asked what changes he would bring to the agency as president, Biden, 77, said he wants to change the fact that children of illegal immigrants live in fear that their parents will be arrested and deported. Quote, they go off to school wondering whether the mom comes and picks them up or if she's not going to be there because an ICE agent was there to arrest her or she takes him to the doctor that she's going to go uh, that, she, that she's going to not be the, that she's going to not be there because she is, quote, undocumented and an ICE agent is going to pick him up. Oh, heavens. You mean to tell me that we have law enforcement agencies that enforce our laws right now? There's a guy in Washington. I just did a segment on this who's got that creepy new Chinese virus gives you pneumonia and it's got like a 2% or more mortality rate. Not the worst in the world, but pretty scary nonetheless. And there are reasons why we have checks on our borders, which I've talked about time and time again. Most of you probably understand why. Most of these people are not vaccinated. Some of them might be criminals. These people are apparently driving drunk. And Biden doesn't care. Look, man, we have a legal immigration process for a reason. It makes no sense to just be like, oh, what's that? They broke the law, but they have kids. Quick, burn our entire law book or whatever. I don't know. Burn the ordinance, burn the statutes. Don't, you know, burn the constitution. He says, you change the culture by saying you are going to get, uh, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. Okay. He says, you change the culture by saying you are going to get fired. You are fired. If in fact you do that, you only arrest for the purpose of dealing with a felony that's committed. And I don't count drunk driving as a felony. Wow. Joe Biden, so desperate for the woke vote. While a first offense, while a first offense of driving under the influence is considered a misdemeanor in most of the United States, repeated offenses can warrant a felony charge in many states. Some states may also elevate a drunken driving charge to a felony if it causes death or severe injury. I think that's it. I think it's just a caption. Is that the end of the story? Okay, we get it. Here's the thing. Joe Biden is plagued by his history under Obama because Obama was the deporter in chief. Joe Biden is now trying to pass off the Obama era policies of family separation as Trump's policies. That's what a lot of people on the left are doing. Sorry, it's just not the case. Obama was doing this. Obama was super harsh on, on, on immigration. They called him deporter in chief. And this is why they call Barack Obama a conservative. On the debate stage, uh, I think this was the second debate, Democratic debate. Everybody was ragging on Biden because of Barack Obama's policies which is nuts because Barack Obama still has like a 95% approval rating among Democrats. Who are you trying to get to vote for you if you're ragging on Obama? That's mind blowing to me. Now, Joe Biden, 
who has basically, he was vice president under Obama, now can't seem to just maintain his position. And this is what he does. He tries to blame Trump. He says, Trump has waged an unrelenting assault on our values and our history as a nation of immigrants. What are you talking about? You you were the vice president under a guy who did way worse than what Trump is doing. Well, to an extent, I think Trump is 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 much more strict on a lot of different uh, um, immigration policies. But Obama was the deporter in chief, man. He says, it's a moral failing and a national shame. This is from Joe Biden's website. Uh, he, he released it, I think he released this, I think, in December. And moral and failing and national shame when a father and his baby daughter drown seeking our shores. Of, 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 of who? Like, whose fault is that? The father's? You're saying that the father morally failed because he risked his family's life to come to America? When children are locked away in overcrowded detention centers and the government seeks to keep them there indefinitely. Again, are you blaming the parents? What's really funny about the whole argument is that everybody knows the detention centers are there. They're coming anyway. I, you know what I mean? When our government argues in court against giving those children toothbrushes and soap, yeah, that's messed up. I agree. You know, if, if we're, we're going to detain people, you got to make sure you have a certain standard. That's just the way it's got to be. When President Trump uses family separation as a weapon against desperate mothers, fathers, and children seeking safety and a better life, when he threatens massive raids that would break up families who have been in this country for years and targets people at sensitive locations like hospitals and schools, when children die while in custody due to a lack of adequate care, he says it's wrong and stops when Joe Biden is elected president. You mean restarts? Those programs were, 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 were happening under your watch, Joe, and they carried on after your watch ended. You didn't do anything to stop them. In fact, you helped make them happen. So why would I believe you? If anything, Trump inherited the problem and is actually winding those programs down. So you, you leave me no choice. But if that's the logic you're using, I'm going to be like, what, by that argument, can't you say that Trump is actually ending your programs? Shouldn't you be happy about this? this? Is the craziest thing, right? Trump's super harsh when it comes to border security, but everyone's blaming him for the kids in cages. And time and time again, people have posted photos of the Obama era cages, and then they're like, "Oops!" and they delete it. There was one really funny moment. I can't remember who it was. They posted a picture of an Obama era detention center, then got called out and said, "Oops!" deleted it, and then posted another picture of the Obama era detention center. I'll tell you this. If it's true that Obama started these facilities, and he did, and Trump is now winding them down, then shouldn't Trump be getting credit from you? Shouldn't you be mad at Obama? How is it now that you're all of a sudden like, that's right, Joe, you are the right guy to do what? You're the bad guy. You're the one who helped make it all happen. Trump's the one ending it. Why is it? How is it Trump's fault? It's like you start. It's like they they, they love to act like uh, the good economy was started under Obama. It's nothing to do with Trump. And then when it comes to the immigration policies, well, that's Trump's problem. Oh, OK, OK. Trump doesn't get credit when the economy is doing well because Obama started it. But Trump gets credit for all the bad things that started under Obama, too. Uh, I don't play that game, dude. My, my problems with Trump are mostly about character and, 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 and political disagreements. Like if I have a political, political disagreement with you, I'm not going to hate you. You know, I'm just going to be like, I disagree. You know what I mean? If you're a bad person, if you're like nasty, I think Trump's nasty and kind of a bad dude. You know what I mean? I think, he, I think he's doing all right by the American people because the economy is doing well. But I think he's kind of a nasty guy. You know, it's just the way it is. But I'm not stupid enough to, to be like, but Joe Biden's the man to fix it. No, Joe Biden's the one who made the problems. If I got a political disagreement with Trump on the policies enacting, well, I got to look where those policies came from. So certain things, you know, Trump has done um, mostly with foreign policy. And again, I, I, I say it a million times, so I'm not going to repeat myself. Uh, I disagree with Trump decided to do X. Don't like it. Trump should have withdrawn from Iraq. OK, plain and simple. But I'm not going to blame him for the problems he inherited from Joe Biden. And, I'm, and, and I've absolutely said this too. consistency. Remember that Obama deserves credit for the, the, the economy started expanding under him. Obama inherited the bad, inherited the bad Bush economy and slowly started turning things around. But it's been a massive, you know, skyrocket under Donald Trump. I think it's fair to say, you know, I'm not going to play these games where it's like you try and figure out who gets credit for what from the past or present administration. This stuff happened under Biden's watch. So for him to come out now and start acting like he's the one who's going to do the right thing is absurd. Joe Biden won't even deport drunk driver illegal immigrants. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. That's a ridiculous line of, of, of politics. Like of any group of people you would actually advocate for deporting, you'd be like, look, if people, if, 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 if he said something like this, like if people are here just trying to work, we'll, we'll find a way to naturalize them. But if you're you know, a criminal or a drunk driver, we're going to deport you. I'd be like, I understand that. I disagree. I think it could create an incentive. But, you know, I get it. 
Instead, Joe Biden's like, if you come here, no one will deport you, even if you drive drunk. Oh, that's the message we want to send to people. By all means, drive here drunk. Nobody will stop you. Joe Biden will fire anybody who tries. Yeah, that's stupid. Whatever, man. But I'll wrap it up. Thanks for hanging out. Stick around. Next segment's coming up tomorrow at 10 a.m. Podcast every day at 6.30 p.m. And I will see you all then.